out there, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Gonna break this tune down for you real quick. All right, the best way to you know learn this song is to get the bar chords down, and we're gonna use uh, bar chords all with the root on the E string, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. They're basically gonna be the same shape. So we're gonna start with a G major bar chord, and so we've got the third fret barred here, and these bar chords are in my ebook. So I'm going to bar the third fret here, and then when you have the root on the E string, you plug in an E shape, an E looking shape, to correspond with the E root. So G on the E string, and then an E major shape gives us a G major chord. And if you're struggling with bar chords, a little tip that I have people do is I say, sometimes bar it first, then plug the shape in, and try that, and then other times do the shape first and see if you can get that clean, and then add the bar. Okay, so now on to the next chord. We just slide it up to where the root now is on the seventh fret. And that's a, and that's a B major chord. Then we move it up a half step to C, because in music, B to C is always a half step. And then that real dark turn that the progression takes, you simply take your middle finger off, and now that looks like an E minor shape, so it becomes a C minor chord. So we went from C major to C minor, and the Beatles uh, kind of made that sound famous. And actually, the last lesson I did, did, a very <laughs> did the same thing. Uh, which was more than words. So here we go again. So we got G. Up to B. Up to C. And then middle finger off to C minor. My right hand I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and I'm just you know I didn't break down exactly all the strumming there's three at least three guitars going on in that song but when you go to the, uh, I mean basically just you kick your distortion on and I've got some standard distortion pedal going on here, a Barber LTD and actually an Ibanez Tube Screamer for Super Fire. And <clears throat> it gets real noisy with the Telecaster but um, Greenwood I believe uses uh, the, the fenders a lot. Okay so Basically, it's just muted, and you go check up, check up, and that's one of the guitars. The other guitar is still strumming the chords, but. And then going to the rock version of G, an open G chord, where you got the third fret there, the A string's muted by your middle finger, and then you've got third on the high E and third on the B. And then you could, one guitar is playing the full bar chords, but it sounds like the other one's just doing the top three strings of it. Okay, so next, the, we, can, we can pick these chords.
with the six string bar chord, you could you can pick any note. So, you know, like I said, I didn't break down the, the picking pattern, so forgive me, but I mean, I listened to it enough to kind of hear what they're doing. They've got definitely the, the D, G, and B on that first chord. pinky on the ninth fret of the G there and you could also do it as an F shape with the thumb over came out uh, my senior year of high school, so you can do the math on that. But that's the that's the bulk of it. I mean, it's the same chords over and over, so that's kind of a fun little uh, tune to be able to play. And if you were doing it on an acoustic, you're pretty much going to have to do it the same way, but you could play a regular G chord, and a B chord, and then you could go to a C and then a C minor right here, but that's actually gonna be more complicated than just working on your bar chords. All right, so get to it, have fun. All right, you guys, that's it. Uh, remember, you can get that free ebook by signing my email list. Otherwise, I'll just hopefully see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.